Morning, Santa. Good morning. How you doing? We're going up a mountain today. No, you don't bite me. No, no. guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos and welcome to another beautiful day of like supercar vlog. I'm not really sure what to call it because I'm still sort of new at vlogging after kind of sitting in my chair forever. So if you guys will notice behind me is a very special car. You guys might know who it belongs to already. Hmm. All right guys, so this is a 911T and it obviously it's got some special features at it. So it looks like it's been through a long trip and I feel like the owner should be... <gasps> Sam, what's up buddy? <laughs> How you doing what's man? What's going on dude? It's good to see you dude. Yeah. Welcome to Colorado Thank man. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited Absolute, to be here. Absolutely, dude. So, so what are we doing today? What, what did you want to do today? Good question. A bit of everything. Like, okay. I mean, Pikes Peak has got to be done right. Like, Obviously. that has to be the first thing that we do. And you've uh, never been here before. No, I've never been to Colorado before. Oh, well, so, welcome, welcome, buddy. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> and then I'm just going to follow you around like a weird stalker. Um, just to see what car life is like around here. Basically, I'm just going to follow you until you tell me to leave you alone. <laughs> and then I'll go and do my own thing. But well, yeah. It's, it's, it's good to day. have you, man. Thank you for having me. I'm Sam, what are we doing, man? Uh, go throwing up. This <laughs> is... When you're doing canyon carving, yeah, so obviously yes. this is like the extreme version of canyon carving, mm -hmm. I, I can't film, so I've got a GoPro. That's fair. You know, because it's just too there's, hard. There's no guardrails there's, out there for uh, all uh, There's the no point, guardrails, so. and like, and this, and like, uh, uh, like, I have four GoPros with me for the year. Nice. Two that I usually hook to the outside, one usually inside, and then I have my favorite, which is a little bit iconic on the channel, which is the oh, point yes. of view. Oh, yes. So that's always ready to go. <laughs> that's then, awesome, man. It's cool yeah. seeing the be behind the scenes, behind, behind the, the glass scenes, sort of like, thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. How it all works out. The car's holding up pretty well, it looks like, man. Oh, it's like it's battered like we're going for a car wash today like that <laughs> yes yes we are so guys sam is going to take his 911t up and i'm going to take my mclaren 570 which i almost never have on the channel but i, but I should we got to get back in okay we are ready to go it does have some beautiful views up here guys trying my best to get a shot of it while i'm driving trying not to die All right, guys, we have made it to the top of Pikes Peak with uh, the McLaren 570 and the Porsche 911T. Sam's off doing some sort of crazy vlogging at the peak right now, but man, it is, a, it is a lot colder up here than it was on the bottom, about 35 to 40 degrees colder. It's got the obligatory peak shot just with, you know, some rocks and some, some big caverns, but yes, hello. Don't let him kid you, it's so cold up here. I'm going it's... back inside. <laughs> this is not, I mean, it's beautiful, but this is not nice. It, it, it's, it's a little bit cold. There is nothing like the view from coming off Mike's Peak though. Look at this. It's amazing. Oh my god. The backfires are crazy up here. Okay guys, we are off the mountain, finally, and uh, we actually took his 911T, Sam's 911T, over to a friend's shop of mine, Autofilm Solutions, and uh, we're going to take it inside and get it washed because it's still a little bit dirty from messing around with Strad Man in Bonneville Salt Flats, right? In the UK, salt is like the worst enemy. Oh. People are like so scared of salt, and I've just been running around with my car like baked in it it's for the last it's, three days. It's, it's time to wash. It's time to wash. <laughs> That's what's Looking way better now than it was earlier. Saying goodbye to the 911T, seen through glass. guys welcome to life of palos it's just a little bit loud in here so far but we're just about to go on the warriors chariot rally a rally that i kind of helped put together a little bit so uh get excited guys here we go Time to begin, guys. Time to begin. 
All right, guys, I think we're starting to roll now. It's gonna get very, very loud in here, so uh, pre prepare yourself. Guys, we are through to our first stop now. Now, so I had a really awesome guy, McKay, uh, in my car with me, and now we're sort of stopping crazy cars coming in right now, and we're gonna switch out my wounded warrior guy with a different guy so everyone can experience new cars. Got my other buddy with the 570. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> this GT3 RS, man, this is sick. What's up, guys? Look at the cars that turned out today, guys. This is so awesome, man. We got the lime green, we got Caesars, a Venador with, uh, oh man, everything's so beautiful today. guys probably the most special car out here today is my, if you guys remember my old school videos the Carrera GT look at this look at this guy iconic guys I really like the 650s I almost bought one instead of my 570 but I couldn't find a good deal on one in Colorado Springs at the time so that or maybe a 720 in the future holy cow look at this guys this might be the most extreme Mustang I've ever seen. Maybe, maybe. And guys, look at this, not one, but two Ford GTs in a row. I don't, I can't decide which one I like more. The Golf livery is pretty sweet, but this yellow one is pretty amazing too. All right guys, I'm walking up to my, th my favorite three car lineup here today, which is Lamborghini Aventador with almost like, almost a Golf livery, although it says Martini on the side. 675 LT and the 650S. So guys, this Aventador has the full Vorsteiner kit across the whole thing. So if you look here at the bottom, you guys can actually see the little different accent pieces. It's kind of cool. Guys, we got the beautiful state of Colorado in front of us. It is absolutely amazing. Got the camera car. And what, what can we say? It's a beautiful day out here, guys. Look at this. Look at the trees. So guys, we just stopped. We're about to get a police escort down into the city, uh, surrounded by the Aventador. We got the GTR, got the lime green. It's a beautiful day, guys. So many good cars here today, guys. One of my favorites here, the McLaren 650S. Actually, there's, there's two of them in a row here. This is this is pretty awesome. And next to the 675 LT, that's not a bad day. We have the new R8 with a brand new front end. This thing is so sick, man. I love it. This one has some specialty wheels on it too. It's not bad. Guys, the reason I'm having such a good day today is because all of this is for wounded warriors. So we take different warriors in our cars uh, through all this incredible mountain driving. We get to have a good day. I don't know, it just makes me feel good on the inside. Real quick, since we're stopped, I'm gonna go look at the Carrera GT. We've actually had a full video back when I used to do vlogs with this car before, but let's, let's turn it around. Look at this. We got Rick, what's up? What's going on, Rick? Yo! <laughs> what's up, YouTube? Oh, man. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Oh, you caught me without my hat on, man. You good, man. You have hair. I have to, have to wear a hat. I mean, I mean, no, 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 nobody. You're, you're, maybe you'll edit this later, so yeah. <laughs> Rick, you have to keep this part in. <laughs> Look at the interior, guys. My goodness. We've seen it before. I love the shifter in this car, the red interior. Everything is so beautiful. And the back of this. My goodness, guys. Oh, I love the license plate, too. That's so sick. Man. All right, guys. We are getting back in the car. We are ready to go. And uh, it's time to put the doors down and uh, go through town with a police escort. Yes, today uh, it was awesome. All of my passengers were like so grateful for the like the ability to like be part of this event. Like especially the thing that we did in the town. <laughs> so guys, like Gallardo gets ready to go. We did the national anthem in the middle of town, and he said that was like the closest thing he's had to like a parade coming home ever since he's been back over from like the Warriors been part of. So it was really special to be part of for sure. I mean, we want to do this more often. You know, 
know, like we don't want to do it once a year. We want to have it like every couple of months, with, you know, rotating veterans inside. The more veterans that we can help, like the, the folks that are part of Wounded Warrior, the better. It was a great day. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you for your words. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, guys. guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos and welcome to another beautiful day of, well it's not supercar news because we're actually going to be driving a supercar for the first time in a long, long time for a vlog. We got the unreleased Ferrari F8 Tributo today. I'm pretty excited about it guys. I've been given about a half an hour's worth of time to, uh, I guess, check out one of the craziest new supercars from Ferrari. So let's go. Oh guys, look at this. We got the keys for it, although they're, they're already in the car, but I'm going with my buddy Brian right now. And uh, we're gonna go drive the F8, yeah? Whoa. Guys, look at this, this is so crazy, I'm so excited. This is the unreleased F8 Tribuna. We got, a, we got a half an hour, guys, let's do it. Start it up. Oh, oh, it sounds good, man. <laughs> look at this, I'm ready. This is so awesome. Man, I've never even driven a 488, so to be able to drive the new F8 Tribuna is freaking amazing. The visibility is already like super good. This is, this is kind of amazing, guys, this is like, Driving around an unreleased car, like a press car for Ferrari, is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Thank you, Ferrari of Denver. You guys are amazing. It's so fun, man. All right, we got, we got our on ramp here. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> this thing has so much kick. There's like no turbo lag whatsoever. Holy cow. This is way, way faster than I thought it was gonna be. So this is kind of crazy guys, like, you know, obviously Denver has like a ton of really nice cars, but the looks that we are getting in this dwarf, even when I'm driving the McLaren around, it's absolutely crazy. Aaron, <laughs> every time we do this, I find myself in that same place where I contemplate the choices I've made in my life. <laughs> and, you know, these days are designed to make me happy. <laughs> but they just but make I'll... you sad instead. <laughs> I always leave sadder. <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay, man. Okay. One day. The lore Scons. again? Scots! comparable to the 720 for 0 to 60. That's freaking crazy, man. Oh, this is so good, man. My butthole fucker. <laughs> that is so fast. Holy cow. I don't know, Aaron. I'm not quite sold yet. Uber is here. Oh, oh hello. Hey. Uh, dude, this thing is nasty. Dude, it's Hi. so good. Get in the car already. What are you doing? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting it to, like, to enjoy this car this much. Love it. I feel like it's very similar to like the 720 where you hear the turbo like whine so much. You ready? <laughs> from out, out behind the desk, man, I gotta say. <laughs> gotta do more vlogs. It's making me nervous. No, I'm not. I'm a good driver. It's making me nervous. Let's start with me. I will pull this car over. I will pull this Ferrari over <laughs> right now. So, so I'll be the first one to say, uh, I, I love my McLaren. I really do. Super fast, like handles like a blade basically on the road. Uh, but there's something about this car that is like so refined and different than my McLaren. Uh, I get why Ferrari fanboys are the way that they are. I used to think that I wanted to be sconced in velour, like the inside of this glove box, but now I'm starting to change my mind. I kind of want to be sconced in the 
Miss Alcantara. <laughs> How much would it cost to make me a full body suit? It needs to happen. Out of this. If we get 20,000 likes, 20,000 likes on today's video, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make an Alcantara body suit for Brian. <laughs> Or thank you, Ferrari of Denver. You guys are amazing. I wish I had more time, though. This car is, like, way better than I thought it was going to be. And I thought it was going to be pretty good, too. It shows you kind of, like, what my expectations were. But, man, this is, uh, it feels very similar to, like, the McLaren 720. Uh, super, super fast. Like, 0 to 60 is, like, 2.9. Uh, it, it's an unreal car. A huge step forward for Ferrari. We have an underpass again. I think I'll be able to, to mess with it a little bit. Take it real slow. Piece of oh my god guys that was amazing this car is so much better than i thought it was going to be um honestly one of the coolest ferraris i've ever had the chance to drive uh, and i actually prefer this over the 812 super fast which i absolutely loved there's something about the mid-engine though this is literally as fast as the pista just the same as a mclaren 720s in a lot of different ways and the styling i just i think it's so much more modern than anything else ferrari has ever done except for maybe like the la ferrari all right guys be before we go let's take a look at the styling real quick uh look at the hood just like the pista just a little bit less in terms of how like crazy like in depth it is here but everything about this just like screams future like, i love everything about it let's go around to the back side real quick this is by far one of the best looking ends of any ferrari i've ever seen guys it's hard to describe what it looks like unless you're seeing it in person i'm trying to do my best brian's trying to get some good footage too uh this thing is so sick guys and look at this engine is so beautiful got our last look for the day guys before we move on to our next event and we're saying goodbye and that's it Okay, we are leaving. We actually have to go to a special car show before like a Ford versus Ferrari special showing. So Brian, how was how was the car, man? Was it good? It was awesome. It was good? Was it would you awesome. say it's one of the one of the better mid-engine cars? Yeah? Uh, I'll say best Ferrari and best mid-engine car I've ever ridden in. Ooh. Now we're driving the Hellcat today, guys. So from 710 horsepower for the Ferrari to a Hellcat. Uh, it's a little different. Look at this guys. Got the, at the Ford versus Ferrari premiere showing up in Denver. This is gonna be sick. Loving that. Ooh, got the Ferrari side over here, guys. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. So guys, we are at a special showing for Ford versus Ferrari, and we're doing a car show out front beforehand. Guys, look at this. This is actually the first time I've seen the McLaren GT up close. This is actually uh, better than I thought in the pictures. It's not bad. Ooh. Very similar interior to mine, guys. Just a little bit different. Guys, look at this. I think you guys will know what this is. In the comments below, tell me what Ferrari this is. If you can guess it, I'll, I'll like the comment. Wait, no, that's going to be too many people. You'll probably notice what this is based on the Ford versus Ferrari movie, but my goodness. Look at this, guys. This is so sick. Man. I didn't actually know this actually belongs to a buddy of mine. We might have to get a ride in this someday. So guys, this is actually really cool. So if I'm on the board for Warriors Cherry, we basically do supercar runs for like Wounded Warrior guys. And we have our special showing today for Ford versus Ferrari. Such a cool moment. All right guys, we're just about to watch the movie. Obviously you can't watch the movie here. I don't want my video to take him down, but uh, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be good, yeah? Yeah. It's gonna be, especially after driving the brand new F8 Tributo. I feel kind of weird going to a, a movie that's gonna be like talking about how awesome Ford is right after doing that. But thank, thanks for Ferrari Denver anyway. Getting ready. I love this, they have this in the background. It's a great organization. So guys, we just got out of the movie. It was fantastic. Had to come look at the GT40 real quick before we go. It is so cool to see this car right after we got done with the movie, guys. But uh, man, it's beautiful. Seriously, guys, Ford versus Ferrari was a fantastic movie. Go see it if you're a car lover at all, really. Brian, what did you think of the movie? It was good. It was, it was more than good. It was great, man. What are you talking about? It was a great movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it was a great movie. Uh, I learned a lot of history from it too. Yeah, a lot of things I didn't. I gotta, I just I gotta didn't check know. and see how much of it was actually true. I bet a bunch of it's pretty spot on. Yeah, for yeah. sure. All right, guys, we are back now. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming along with me for the, I guess the uh, the F8 drive and as well as the movie and car show afterwards. So that's all I've got for now, and uh, we'll see you later. Have a good day and bye.